18th March 1945. The world has been at war for the last six years. The banks of the Rhine River become a critical battleground and crossing the river is a dangerous task for the Allied forces. The Axis powers are closely watching the area from above and see hundreds of vehicles occupying a particular stretch of the river bank. They intercept radio signals that talk of two full American divisions of the 9th Army preparing to cross the river for an attack. German troops from the other side of the river can hear them moving and are readying for battle. And what next? Well, none of this was even real to begin with. This was all an act to distract the Germans from the real troops who safely crossed the river further south and successfully launched their attack a few days later. And this spectacular performance was brought to you by these guys. Meet the Ghost Army that used an unusual form of warfare to save thousands of lives on the battlefields of World War II. Officially known as the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, under the command of Army veteran Colonel Harry L. Reader, it had just 82 officers and around 1,100 men. But on the battlefield, they multiplied into approximately 30,000 men. How did this handful of men manage to pull this off? This was the brainchild of two military planners in the service of the US Army at the time of the war, Colonel Billy Harris and Major Ralph Ingersoll. The purpose of this supposed ghost army was tactical deception in order to confuse the Nazi army anywhere along the front lines of battle. They basically worked like con artists. These soldiers were actually quite a diverse group that also consisted of photographers, artists, engineers, designers and actors. They would create illusions on the battlefield to fool the enemy into thinking that the forces were larger than they actually were, to supply them with misguided intel on troop movements or distract the enemy from the main target kilometers away in the heat of battle. And they used some pretty innovative techniques. They would set up entire scenes of army camps with dummy rubber planes, vehicles and even weapons and artillery equipment like inflatable tanks. They would mix in a few genuine pieces as well to make the act more convincing for any enemy reconnaissance that was surveying the area. They would authentically recreate the entire war experience by building the right atmosphere. They used what was considered advanced technology at that time. They recreated incredibly detailed battlefield sound effects with Bell Labs in the US, including sounds such as shifting of gears, tread noises, crackling of brush, and voices of guides leading tanks into final positions. The Sonic Deception Unit would then play these out of powerful speakers mounted on armored vehicles along the front lines. This was to fool the enemy into thinking that large troop movements were underway. These were convincing enough even if you were miles away. They even created spoof radio. Operators created fake radio messages and phony traffic nets that would mimic the Morse code of real radio operators, fooling any enemy interception of the messages. They also executed construction and demolition tasks such as digging fake tank and artillery positions. They would drive around bulldozers to simulate the tread marks of tanks on the ground. Members of the Ghost Army played the roles of soldiers from different units, wearing the necessary insignia and uniforms of actual troops stationed in the area. Sometimes they even dressed up as higher ranking officials and generals in the army. A few would then drive around in trucks to create the illusion of large troops in the area. All this was done to confuse the Nazis about actual sizes of the real troops and positions that they were moving to. Actors from the Ghost Army would dress up as allied troops in the area and roam around the local villages. They would talk loudly and spread rumors at cafes and public places for any spies from the enemy who might be paying attention. This kind of misinformation would give the Allies an advantage on the front lines. The soldiers of the Ghost Army were a brilliant bunch. What they did was incredibly risky if they were ever caught in the act. They also had to adapt their elaborate performances to suit the need of the hour on the battlefield. It is said that the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops had one of the highest IQs in the army with an average of 119. By some accounts, their performances were so good that even entire German units surrendered to them during the war. They took their traveling show across the length and breadth of Europe between their inception in January 1944 and all the way till the end of the war in 1945. In this time, they staged over 20 deception operations across Germany, France, Belgium and Luxembourg. By the end of the war, three members of the Ghost Army had died in the line of duty and dozens of others were wounded. 
the rest returned home to civilian life as decorated officers. Some even went on to become famous artists, photographers and fashion designers. Shortly after the war, a few small papers published an account of the ghost army but were quickly hushed as their very existence was to remain top secret. It stayed that way for over 40 years and it is only now that we know of the great minds and incredible theatrical performances that saved the lives of thousands of Allied soldiers during World War II. Hey, hey, did you like what you just saw? Then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. The whole point of our channel is to ask fun and compelling questions, explore weird and intriguing stories and delve into secret histories. So do let us know what you would like to watch in the next video in the comments below.